Sometimes I just need the stars to align. Adriana reached out to me to let me know that her fiance, who's a big fan of the channel, is actually gonna be in Punta Gorda and he's got a birthday coming up. So today we're gonna surprise James. So welcome aboard everybody. Uh, today I'm gonna show you my engine start procedures. I actually start my engines a little bit different than uh, the Beechcraft manual calls for. I actually follow the Continental uh, engine starting procedures for this particular engine. So we'll go ahead and put our master on, let the JPI fire up. It'll ask me if we've added fuel. Take my mixtures, I'll bring them full rich. Take my throttle, I'll bring them up till you hear the little click. There's the click. Now here's where my procedure changes. I take my um, aux pump, I actually put it on low. You can hear the aux pump running. I take my throttle, I just give it a little extra little squirt to come up. I watch my fuel flow come up. I bring it back down to that click and then I engage my starter. And just like that, the engines come alive. So as you can see, um, it's a pretty simple procedure. It is slightly different than what the Beechcraft manual calls for, uh, but it seems to work really well, at least with my engines. So I mentioned this in a previous video, but Warp Flight's got this new awesome feature and it's basically a taxi route. And so depending on which level of Warp Flight you have, whether or not you get this feature, but uh, I'm not normally one for upselling. In fact, I try to always um, save wherever you can. But this is one of those features that, honestly, I think it's worth spending the money on because if you fly to unfamiliar airports, it is priceless. So as you can see here, we got the taxi diagram up. I tell it where I want to go, which is runway nine, and it draws the line from here the way it thinks that I'm going to go. This actually is probably pretty accurate, but that's not the coolest part of this feature. We're going to watch that together when I make this radio call. Crown Baron 3175 Whiskey with uniform Charlie ramp, uh, taxi to runway nine VFR Northwest departure. 3175 Whiskey, runway 9 taxi via Bravo Echo. Behind that traffic, runway 9 via Bravo Echo, Sambo Whiskey. So you can see how I type this in exactly how he says it, Niner Bravo Echo, and I just said, read it back, and it drew the green line. Now what's even cooler about that green line is if we had a crossing restriction or we had something like that, I could do hold short, I can do cross, and like on a hold short, it'll draw a red line for me. So as I follow this arrow with the airplane, I know when I get to the red to stop. That's a great feature, particularly when you're in big, unfamiliar airports. Tower, Baron 3175 Whiskey, holding short of Niner at Echo for a Northwest VFR departure. November 75 Whiskey, turn left northwest, runway 9 or clear for takeoff, Skyhawk right downwind, wind 100 at 6, gust 1 6. Left northwest, runway 9 or clear for takeoff, Sambo Whiskey. All right, doors closed. All right, we are clear left. I see 9. Wind's off, all right. Give the left side a little more power boot than the right. That minimizes my rudder. Fuel flow, airspeed is alive, gauges is in green. Eighty-four knots. Positive rate. You wanna get me my gear up? Save me from doing it. Oh my. There Air you is go. going up. Here is up. I was I'm wondering if I could see the uh, nose wheel drag, but... Alright, 400 feet. 
Spin the power back. Begin our left turn. Twenty five hundred RPM. Number seven five with you maintain at or below one thousand five hundred till further advice. At or below one thousand five hundred till of ours, if I was Must be some traffic out here that are gonna keep me from. So I much appreciate that. There's a couple of people in front. There's three in front of us. Yeah, stand right there. 200 to go. I'm gonna go ahead and send that text you can. So, yeah. So she said, awesome, no, he has no idea. We actually just drove around. We just drove around that airport because I told him I may have a friend flying in. Oh my God, this is so exciting. Okay, so you should be here around 130. 75 Whiskey, altitude at your discretion, frequency change approved today. Altitude, my discretion, frequency change approved. Thanks for your help, Sample Whiskey. So there's actually two people in front of us. One's 400 feet above one's us. 1,800 feet. Probably get above them. So let's go ahead and climb. Let's go, uh, go 55 for now. Let's see how that looks. 2500. 1300. Six miles out, they're going north-ish. And I'm worried about the guy going south. The one the that moment, is now, but, but now we're okay, at, here we go. We're at even altitude. Yep. He's going So he's going to be no factor because he's still a few miles away. And we're still climbing. At a thousand feet per minute, so he'll be below us. Ugh. Be nice to get above these clouds; it'll smooth out. Yeah. And then the guy going north is north of us, so. Yeah, he should be no factor as long. All as the traffic there. should be no factor at this moment. We'll continue to sneak in more power as we climb. I know some people argue you can just leave it wide open throttle. I don't disagree. However, my JPI doesn't like it because the factory says 2,500 and it's set for the factory so it starts flashing at me telling me that my manifold pressure is too high. All right, my head's going down. Your head's going down. So we've been coordinating with Adriana for the past couple of days and she asked if it just so happened to work that while they were in town in Punta Gorda, if we we're gonna be in town. And we actually were. And what's cool is we are surprising her fiance whose birthday is coming up. And has no idea has we're coming. No idea. That's all awesome. So he's going to be so excited. We do get these requests from time to time and um, unfortunately most of the time it does not work out, which breaks my heart. Um, so I'm excited that it's working out this time. I'm I'm apologetic to those who hasn't worked out before, but please don't stop asking. Please keep trying. Also, though, keep in mind, um, we're no longer at Punta Gorda. To those who, who follow but maybe haven't realized or missed missed when we announced it, um, we're not at Punta Gorda anymore. So therefore, um, we're actually at Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale Exec. So it definitely makes life a little easier if you happen to be in Southeast Florida versus Southwest Florida. So another shout out that I personally have is to uh, Michelle and Clinton. They are in South Africa and um, it was recently Clinton's birthday. Michelle had surprised him with a package from us. He was so stunned that we were both able to coordinate the package for him and get it there on time that he was just in awe. Um, so here's another birthday shout out. So happy birthday, Clinton. Happy belated birthday, because it's birthday's already passed, and then by the time he sees this, it'll be even a little It'll more be belated. Just a smidge later, just a smidge, but. But don't give away the secret how long this video took to get out. <laughs> so yeah, so here's an extra special gift for you. Hope and, you enjoy. And thank you for watching. And uh, I do. I actually have been to South Africa, and I absolutely loved it. It's been a long time since I've been there. It was actually 
early 2000s. But um, beautiful country, and I absolutely loved it. So one day, hopefully, we'll get back, and one day, hopefully, I can bring you there. Now we have friends to visit. We've got friends. And we can... Um, They're like, you, you, you ain't staying with yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. They're like, I'm now. Yeah. All right, so we're going to set up 5,500. We're going to go up to 7,500. And that should basically clear us past all this, and then we'll be golden. Hopefully, the rest of the way. There we go. I had to climb up to 8,300 to get over Woo! this cloud. Who did th who'd have thunk? So we've got somebody 800 feet below us, about seven miles out. Oh, great. Going okay. north, west, or southwest. So they're at 7,500. So we'll I'll wait till we there. sneak past them before I start sneaking down. But in the interim, I am going to bring the RPMs back. 2,400 RPM. Pretty good. Go ahead and close the cow flaps. Uh, I'll lean a little bit. I don't want to lean too much because when I come down, oh, that's going to change. So, um, you notice that the Baron is a little shinier than it has been in the past. I'm excited to announce. Yeah, that's sure. because I worked really hard for days. I feel like no one believes me already at that point. You're in the clear. No, he's in still there. Yeah, he's actually not. He's way over there. Okay. So, <laughs> um, of course, I'm lying when I say I worked really hard for days. Uh, but I did have the uh, airplane ceramic coated. And they did a fantastic job on the ceramic coating. And this plane looks fantastic. And everything just beads right off and comes right off, more so than waxing. If you're not familiar with ceramic coating, you really should become familiar with it. And if by any chance you happen to be in Florida and you're looking to get your cars or your airplane ceramic coated, I really do have a good guy. Uh, no correlation. I have no financial uh, benefit from it. I didn't get a discount from it. Um, but uh, Although I, I should have if you're watching. Um, but if you are looking for somebody, i got a great guy. 600 feet below. And I will gladly um, reach out to me and I'll send you his info. There's another guy 500 feet below us. What I just said. I know, but I was talking, so I had uh -huh. to say that I acknowledge it. So he also does boats, for the record. Yeah, cars, boats, planes. Planes, trains, and automobiles. That's what I he does. I don't think he's done a train yet, but that would be cool. I'd be impressed. And now, guys, um, if you guys like these videos, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe button, and ring that bell for notification. And uh, share this video with friends. We're we're trying to help grow the channel. Our goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers. We're getting close, but we need you to help us. So if you can uh, do whatever you can to uh, help spread the word, we would most appreciate it. I just shot up 100 feet. Just down like and up and down. I knew it was going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I getting a little tired, getting a little old. I said I'll too hold, and it climbs up 100 feet. And I know I can keep tweaking it and send it somewhere, but I think it's time for, it's time for us to start thinking about new autopilot. And honestly, my two choices I think right now are either going uh, with the S-TAC 3100 um, or trying to go the Garmin uh, route. So I know there's pros and cons to both of them. I'm trying to figure out which makes the most sense right now. And so that's kind of where we are with, with that upgrade is deciding which which is the best option for us. So, what do you guys think? Should we go the Garmin autopilot or the S Tech 3100? Does anybody have a Baron that has either one of them yeah, in it? I'd like to hear a review from those who have both. And uh, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. Uh, and then, uh, you know, help us make an educated decision. So let's go ahead and look at Fort Flight. Let's get a heads up on what the ADIS is. Because I can just come here and get the METAR and I can cheat. You now the winds are 150 at 8. Visibility is 10, fuel 2800, temperature 32, 2.24, altimeter 3011. So we got a high pressure in South Florida and it seems to be pretty stable because it's not changing. And there's the top of descent. So we're going to start working our way down. Cut. We are VFR. We're going to turn a little bit to the right to the opening. And we're going to start working our way down. 
I'll go ahead and bring the power back to about 18 inches. And we'll come hit this gap right in here. Gotta go to airport information, Lima. 1651 Zulu observation. Wind 120 at 4, visibility 10. Sky conditions few clouds, 3500. Temperature 322.24, altimeter 3010. Arrival and departure 6 back. Runway 84, visual approaches in use. Runway 15 is also available. Coast of Jammer, Pachi's caution from bird activity. Takes away echo close between the east and west entrance to the 600 hangars. Takes away echo 2 close. Advise all controllers in this contact. You have information in Lima. All right, we've got Lima. We're going to ask for runway 15 since 15 is available. I was going to ask if you were yeah. going to do that. Yeah, I want 15. So go ahead and load up uh, the approach for 15, even though it's going to be visual. We'll still. Uh, I guess I could. Do you want we'll the, the RNAV? Uh, yes, because that's the RNAV, yep, that's the only thing that they have. Vectors? Vectors, yep. Well, that's cool. Did you see that? It's got the tail number, and then there's a squat code, 1200, so I know yeah. he's VFR. That seems to be new. That might be with that the, the upgrade we just did with the uh, traffic system. All right, uh, we're 11 out. We're going to go ahead and call up and go to uh, You got tower. And we've got Lima. We're going to go to tower, Baron 3175. Whiskey is about 11 to the southeast, inbound with Lima, full stop. Request runway 15. 3175, Whiskey, Punta Gorda, you can expect 15. I'll be looking for you on the down one. All right. All right, we expect 15, simple. Now, can you explain to me why you asked for 15 instead of keeping with 4? Because uh, the winds are actually uh, favoring 15. So if you come here to uh, four flight, you can see the best winds are on one five. So since we're going to the FBO, um, that'll actually give us better winds and a shorter taxi. Okay. Now, so, I mean, so it gives me both. So it's a it's a win win. Then why are they on runway four? Because runway four is the longer runway. So if the wind if the winds are decent, then no matter what, they're always going to pick runway four. Correct. Didn't they just increase one five? They three, did. Three? They did, but four is still longer. Okay. Four is still the main runway at this airport. Okay. I just didn't remember. I thought they increased it so that that was as long as four to two. It's not as long, no. Okay. It'll never be as long. They That's just my. The only reason they increased it is because they're going to eventually shut down four to do um, work on it. When they do one five, needs to be long enough for Allegiant to be able to get in and out. So they made it just long enough. It's just long enough for Allegiant. Okay. To be able to get in and out. Six miles out. I'll turn on my landing lights. Help him see us. And seven five whiskey's entering and down one for one five. Seven five whiskey clear to land one five. Keep it in close when one five zero five. All right, clear to land one five. Seven whiskey. Right, let's go ahead and keep it in close. He wants me not to go too far out. Okay. All right, let's go approach flaps. All right, flaps approach. All right. We'll go ahead and go gear down. We've got three green. One in the mirror. All right, in the white arc, go on flaps land. Hey, keeping it in close. Oh, that's why he wants to keep it in close. I figured. You know what, welcome. I have a landing clearance on final. Roger. Landing clearance? 500 feet, yeah, because he's, cause he's waiting for us to be clear oh. before he clears him. That's why he's not giving him the clear land yet. Yep. Yeah. 
That was a hold off. 1601, clear to land runway 4, wind variable at 3. Clear to land 4, yeah, you wait 1601. Yeah. Sir, where are you parking? I'm just going to FBO, 75 Whiskey. Okay, sir, make the next right turn on Alpha and contact ground there, 119 or 55, please. Right on Alpha, over to ground, 75 Whiskey. Ground, band 3175, Whiskey's clear 15 at Alpha for the uh, FBO. Alright, 3175, Whiskey, going to go to ground, turn right on Delta for the FBO. Right on Delta for the FBO, Samarowski. Welcome to Puna Gorda. Hope you guys enjoyed this flight. As always, if you like these videos, hit that thumbs up, subscribe button. And ring that bell for notification. And hit all. Because the greatest compliment we can receive is... Your subscription to our channel. Your subscription to our channel. And share this video with friends, family, and anyone else you know that's into aviation. Post it on Facebook. And on Reddit and whatever else. <laughs> Reddit. ABS. Booney. So now we get to surprise James with a happy birthday surprise, courtesy of Adriana. All right, guys, till next time, stay safe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. I think I see them over there by the door. So uh, I hope he's surprised and I hope he enjoys this. Not seeing me, of I course. Th I think you know what's coming at this point. I think, I think the surprise is that he's gonna see flying SIC because nobody really cares about no. their pilot. Howdy. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Good to see you. Hope you enjoyed the surprise. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I look at the tail number. I don't. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? So we've, it's with your birthday and everything coming up because your birthday's coming up soon. Uh, yesterday, actually. Oh well, yeah. then. <laughs> happy belated birthday. It's all good. <laughs> so here we got a, just a few little things for you. Just we just brought with us. Um, one is now. Here we go. Oh, you got a little Baron Pilot shirt now. Unfortunately, this it's going to be a little small for it's you. Right. But what we're going to do is, um, if you want, we can sign it for you, and then this gives me one you can keep for signing. And then maybe, you know, we can work on... Uh, Give me a little ambition to lose some weight so I can sport your gear. Well, there you go. <laughs> and you got to tag me in it, too. That's right. Here's Sweet. some BP stickers and uh, Beach Life keychain removed awesome. before flight. So Sweet. Thank just you. Just a little something. Just, I appreciate you know, it. No, appreciate no. It. I appreciate it. Yeah. It, it's followers like, like you that... Um, not only watch the channel, but actually go out of the way, or even though she gets a little credit, but I'm going to give you a little right, credit yeah, 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 that yeah. actually care <laughs> enough to uh, want to meet up, and that means the world to me. 